Hey everyone, thanks for hopping on board for a brand new episode of First Kid City Online. Buckle up because we have a new theme this October. Our theme is driven, what's inside matters most. It's what's on the inside that counts. When you have integrity, you can truly begin to love like Jesus. At First Kid City, we've got something super cool called a life app. And a life app is what God is doing in us to change the world around us. Our life app this month, integrity. Choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. In life, there are going to be times where you're tempted to lie. Maybe telling the truth just seems too hard. Or maybe you're worried about getting into trouble. However, God calls us to be people of integrity. No matter how painful it is, we should strive to have integrity in everything we do. But if integrity seems confusing to you, no worries. You don't have to figure it out all on your own. God can help you to have integrity. Pray and talk to God about it. Ask God how to lead you to show integrity in everything that you say and do. At First Kids City, we love to have God's word in our hearts, so we memorize scripture. Check out this verse in Proverbs 10, 9. Let's go ahead and read it together. Anyone who lives without blame walks away safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. To memorize this verse this week, write it down on a sticky note and put it somewhere you're gonna see it every single morning. Before school, read the verse three times so it gets stuck in your head. Over the course of the week, you will certainly memorize this whole verse. One final note, as a part of our worship today, we are gonna be taking communion. If you have bread and juice available, go ahead and grab it now. But if not, don't worry. Whatever you have in your kitchen is gonna work just fine. You can pause this video now to prepare communion and come back whenever you're ready. Fantastic. We can't wait to jump into God's word with you today. But before we get started, let's have some fun with game time. Hey guys, welcome to game time. I'm Mitchell. And I'm Karis. Today we're gonna play In A World. Karis, how do we play? How you play is you're gonna need a roll of streamer and the goal is to unravel it the fastest. So you can go get a roll of streamer and you can play with a friend or you can play with us. That's right. Are you ready, Karis? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> kind of satisfying, It's all though. over the table. Woo! Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God, my phone on the floor. I don't know where it is. Woo! Oh, no. This is getting messy. <laughs> I keep on losing mine. Done. Woo. Oh. <laughs> How much more do you have, Karis? Oh my gosh. All right, Done. good job, good job Karis. <laughs> if you take any pictures or videos, be sure to send them to us and we may put them in next week's video. All right, let's get ready for worship. Searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper, leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you. Now I can see clearly, my God, you found me. You won't let go. Your love won't let me down. And I know it's true. Yeah, I know. Believe in you, holding on to you, holding on to you. 
Right now, we are going to continue our time of worship today by taking communion, the Lord's Supper, together. If you already have prepared your bread and juice, that's fantastic. If you don't have bread and juice available at home, that's okay too. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. As we begin this time together, we remember that God's people have gathered to share this meal for many years. During this time, God's people always do two things. They remember and they celebrate Jesus. Jesus entered our world as a baby, and then he grew up. Throughout his life, Jesus performed miracles, taught people about God's kingdom. He healed people who were sick. He served others. It's also important for us to remember that Jesus never once sinned. He lived a completely perfect life. Jesus came to redeem us, to save us from our sins by dying on a cross. On the night before he was arrested, Jesus gathered his disciples together for a Passover meal. And as they were eating, Jesus did something just a little bit out of the ordinary. He took some bread, broke it into pieces, and he passed it out to all of his friends. He told them that the bread represented his body and that they should eat it in remembrance of him. Then Jesus took a cup and told them that this was his blood of the new covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. This all seemed a little odd to the disciples, but Jesus was starting something new. On the same day when Jewish people celebrated their freedom from Egypt, how God led them to the promised land, Jesus started a new day to remember and celebrate. On this day, all people would be free from sin and death. You see, in just a few short hours, Jesus would be arrested and crucified. He would receive the punishment that we deserved. It was a terrible thing, but three days later, something amazing happened. Jesus rose from the grave. And because of what Jesus did, we are no longer separated from God. We are free to live a completely holy and free life before him. We remember the life Jesus lived and how he never sinned, his amazing teachings and miracles. And we celebrate that Jesus died for our sins and three days later rose again in the resurrection, defeating sin and death forever. All of God's people to this day gather together to share this meal as one family in Christ. So today, if you would like to receive this meal to remember and celebrate Jesus, we invite you to take communion at home right now. John. Yeah. Where's my chair? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, come around here. I want to show you something cool. All right. <sighs> Whoa. Right? I thought our old chairs were getting pretty boring, so I thought we deserved some cool ones. Cool ones? Yeah, because we're cool. Right, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. We are cool. And we deserve cool chairs. That make us look cool. Sit in your cool chair, my man. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. As cool as us. So cool. Cool, let's start the show. Cool! <laughs> This is not cool. I'll get the old chairs. Cool. Hello, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and this is The, the So and So Show. And as always, we are coming to you live. We're not live. We're coming to you pre-recorded from my basement. That's right, and today we're gonna be Oh, <laughs> sorry, I, I need to take this. Uh, Hello? Could you... Uh, oh, sorry, 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 yeah. <clears throat> sorry, yes, yes, I am listening. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, we're gonna have a really great day. We're gonna be talking... What? Uh, we're gonna be talking at... Uh, How much? Um, what we're gonna be talking about today... Okay, is... thank you for calling. <laughs> Um. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Uh, what was that about? What? What? I mean, we heard you. You sounded shocked and defeated, and then you started crying. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just talking to my car mechanic. Oh. Yeah, my car was in the shop. It was making funny noises like rah, 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 and foobie doo boop, foobie doo boop, foobie doo boop, and we're running in the shadows I think the last one was the radio. Anyway, my mechanic just called to tell me how much it was gonna cost to fix it. Yeah. Fixing cars can be expensive. Yeah, although $150,000 seems like a lot of money. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, no, wait, this is him again. Uh, no, wait, I'll just, wait. no, no, no. Hello? Yes? It is? Oh, no! Why do you? I don't see okay. <laughs> it's not 150,000 now, it's 250,000. John, you don't have that kind of money. But I need a car. You can buy 25 cars for that amount of money. The guy is scamming you. Uh, How long have you known him? Uh, as long as you've known him. Me? Who is it? Hello, anybody home? Oh no. That's not my mechanic. Yeah, it's Joe the Troll! My once arch nemesis and all around meanie who has changed his ways. <laughs> What's up, Master Cheese? I mean, customers. See? Loyal customers. <laughs> mm. Had to make a house call because somebody was too slow at answering their phone. You called again? Oh. Oh. See? Mm hmm. <laughs> now. Time for some more bad news. Looks like your conjugator is broken. <sighs> so that's gonna set you back about another 100,000 Gs. Oh no! Conjugator? Mm -hmm. What does a conjugator do? Uh, hello! It conjugates. Uh, it sits in the engine next to the Flubbertron. Dude, this guy knows nothing about cars. Yeah, right. <laughs> leave it to the experts. All right, so what else is broken on John's car that costs $350,000 to fix? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Oh, um, well, uh, his carbon baconator is all messed up. Oh, yeah. Carbon baconator. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and um, uh, the, the minifold and the um, origami nominator oh, is man. all just gunked up. Oh, really? And? Mm. And, uh, oh, 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 and he also needs uh, four of the, um, the, uh, the round thingamabobs that uh, make the car move. Are you talking about tires? I was using the technical term. Oh, yeah. John, this guy is totally ripping you off. Yeah, none, really? of, none of these things are a part of a real car. Well, hey, hey, the rolly thingamabobs are. Those are tires. Joel, come on, man. I, I thought you got over being mean to people. Hey, hey, I'm not being mean. I'm being dishonest, big difference. So you admit it? No. I mean, um, just, uh, yeah, actually a little bit. 
Is there actually anything that needs to be fixed on my car? I don't know how to fix a car. I can't even drive legally. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for being honest, but uh, I believe I'm going to have to take my car somewhere else. Oh, man. See what honesty gets you, kids? Uh, <laughs> Wow. Okay. First of all, he wasn't being honest at all. He was lying to me this entire time. That's what dishonesty gets you. I heard that! And second, I just want to thank you, Brandon. If it wasn't for you, I would have spent $350,000 and be in debt up to my eyeballs. Hey, that's what friends are for. Oh, and what a better time to say, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! I thought $350,000 was a lot for a doctor. Fellas, what's up? Hey, Kellen. My car's in the shop. Oh, sorry. Did the conjugator go bad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I saw the whole thing with Joel the Troll. Good. You had me nervous for a second. Yeah, me too. Hey, what do you have for us today? Well, I know this may shock you, but I have a story from the Bible that I would love to share. What? You? Get out. I will not. However, it's one of those days where I'd really love your help telling it. Would you mind if I borrow your noggins? Not at all. All right, then it's time for a little human head puppet theater. So today's story can be found in the Old Testament in a book called 2 Kings. It's in chapter five. The story begins with an army commander named Naaman. He had a painful skin disease but he heard that there was a man in Israel named Elisha who could possibly help him with it. So Naaman set off for Israel. I'm not sure what's worse, the skin disease or the bumps on this road. Whoa, 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 slow down, horsey, slow down. Whoa, 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 slow down. Once Naaman reached Israel, he found Elisha and told him about his skin disease. Go, wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times. Then your skin will be healed. Oh. <laughs> what? That's crazy talk. <laughs> I'm not jumping in that stinky old river. No, 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 no. He did not want to do it at first. But Naaman's servants convinced him to listen to Elisha. And when Naaman finally jumped in the river, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Cannonball! Whoa. <laughs> Something miraculous happened. After jumping in the Jordan seven times, Naaman looked at his skin and he realized, <gasps> my skin, it's healed. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Hey, hey, my skin is healed. <laughs> so overjoyed, Naaman went back to thank Elisha. What you said would happen? happened. <laughs> now I know there's no God anywhere in the whole world except in Israel. So please, let me pay you. I serve the Lord. You can be sure that he lives and you can be sure that I won't accept a gift from you. Please take it. No. Please. No. Please. Hmm. Again, absolutely not. Okay. Go in peace. Okay. I guess I'll just Take my money. I might just leave that there. What is my boss Elisha thinking? Naaman wanted to give us a ton of money. I'm gonna get it back. You can bet your bottom dollar. Or my name isn't Gehazi. <laughs> So Gehazi took off down the road in the direction Naaman had left. 
He was so determined that he would get the money from Naaman any way he could. Naaman, please. Hey, Naaman! Commander Naaman! Hey! Whoa, horsey! Whoa! Is everything all right? No. I mean, yes. Oh. I mean, can I catch my breath for a second? Sure. Okay. So, two young uh, prophets uh, are coming to stay with Elisha, and uh, could you give me 75 pounds of silver after all? 75? <laughs> I'll give you 150 pounds of silver. And I'll give you two sets of clothes as well. Um, um, and maybe two of my offstage servants could help you carry all of that. <laughs> Thank you! Well, hmm. cha -ching. What was that? Uh, nothing. When Gehazi got home with all of the stuff he got from Naaman, he quickly sent Naaman's servants away and hid all the money and the clothes in Elisha's house. However, nothing slipped by Elisha. Yeah, Gehazi, you are a sly one. <laughs> Gehazi! Oh, ah. hmm? oh uh, Elisha, yes. I almost didn't recognize you. You look different somehow. Where have you been? Uh, what? Where, 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 what do you mean? I, 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 I didn't go anywhere. Didn't my spirit go with you? I know that the man got down from his chariot to greet you. Is, is this the time to accept money or clothes? You and your children after you will have name and skin disease forever. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Gehazi got greedy and couldn't understand why his boss, Elisha, didn't want any of Naaman's money. So he lied to Naaman and went against Elisha's wishes. But in the end, it did not turn out the way he wanted. What do you think, fellas? Ah, uh, wow, that is a harsh story. I hear you. Even though being dishonest might get you what you want, in the long run, it usually ends up hurting us and others. Well then, I'm glad we set Joel the Troll straight earlier. Yeah, he, here's hoping he doesn't try to pull that kind of stuff on anyone else. Oh, sorry. It's my mechanic. I gotta take this. Hello? Uh-huh. A hundred thousand dollars? Wait, Kellen! It's, it's Joel not the real. Troll! It's not real! He doesn't know what he's oh. doing! No, no. <laughs> I got you guys again! Man, you were good. You got me. Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Until next time, I'll see you later. See ya. You know, Gehazi was willing to lie and scheme to get what he wanted. Yeah, obviously not a trustworthy fella. Yeah, hey, I think that has something to do with our question. Oh, well then, reveal, reveal the question. Ah, oh, why is it important for people to trust you? Yeah, well, for one thing, I would like people to know they can count on me. Yeah, yeah, when people trust me, they aren't afraid to ask me for help because they know I'll do what I say I'll do. I like that. So what do you think? Talk about it together and see if you can come up with reasons why it is important that people trust you. Yes, and until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So -so Show! David, please! Oh, I'm sorry, I moved this whole set. Aren't these cool? Woo! Woo! Oh, man. You gotta sell these things, John. I know. Wow. Wait, let's see, let's see. <laughs> All right, let's race in a circle. I'm dizzy. Get set, go. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go! Ah. Ah. <laughs> roll, He's a giant roll, roll your, your boat, boat gently roll, across roll, the street. Roll your boat basement! Thanks so much for joining us today at First Kids City Online. We hope you'll be back again soon. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You can also follow us along at Facebook and Instagram at First Kids OK. As always, you can join us live on Sunday at any one of our three weekend services, 8.15, 9.45, and 11.15 a.m.
We'll see you next time.